Hey everyone, Jacob here. Today's date is Saturday, September 16th, 2023, and it's 10.45 a.m. I am in Claysville, Pennsylvania, in Washington County at the Covered Bridge Festival, or one of their locations. For those who don't know, the Covered Bridge Festival is a festival where, there, where it takes place at multiple locations. This is just one of them. I'm not going to be at all of them today because we're not going to spend all day here, obviously. So we're only going to be at a couple. So let's see what's at this one. Let's have fun. Alright, we're starting off with something pretty good here. I don't know if you can hear me. We got a guy doing chainsaw art right here. So I created some pretty nice stuff. As you can see right there. Here we got a couple tractors. Massey Ferguson 231S. As you can see right there. Up here we got a White 2105. Very nice tractor. Let me get in full view. Very nice tractor. Hopefully you can hear me. Over here, I've never heard of this one. This is a Farm Pro. Sorry that my uh, camera is so zoomed in, I can't control it. Here we got a Farm All Super C. Another nice tractor with some cultivators on it. That's pretty much it for over here. Okay guys, you can probably hear me better now. Just to give you a little uh, info on this uh, farm I'll see. This, is the, this one has cultivators as you probably saw. And they, they get bolt on, right, they're bolted on right here. You just take these bolts out with a tool and they're off. Same on the other side too. I apologize this is so, because this is so zoomed in. And the, this is the hydraulic right here to lift it up. Right there. Same on the other side too. And the way you would pull this up, uh, I think this is it right here, I'm not sure. There's your throttle right there, your shift stick, clutch, and your brakes. Here's the shift pattern right there if you can see it. So there's first, third, fourth, second, and reverse. There's the 540 RPM PTO. RPM stands for revolutions per minute if you don't know. So that's a little info on that tractor. Okay guys, I'm not sure if you can hear me, but right here we're at Rice's Fort. That, that's it right there in front of my parents. This fort was built in, seven, was attacked by Indians in September 1782. Right after America won its independence from Britain. So we're gonna go inside it if we can. Okay guys, we're going in. So here's what it looks like from the inside. And just so you know, my dad told me that people weren't as tall back then, so uh, they would have to stand on something here to shoot out of this hole right here. At least that's what I had heard. Like I, like I said, we're talking 1782. There's some tarp on the ground. Looks like that was like a porch or a platform at one point. Thank goodness this is here for recreational purposes. Oh, it's much more nice in here. Look at the ceiling. You can see everything from out there. Okay, not everything. Yeah. Take a look at this nice old car right here. I'm not sure if it's a Chevy Bel Air, but it's a nice one. It's pink for some reason, but, I, but that's okay. Harley-Davidson Harley Motorcycle License Plate. Yeah. This is what cars used to look like. Legit nice cars. Man, I, I wish I had a nice car like this. Take a look at this, old, this mini square baler right here. This little mini square baler actually made those little bales right here. This is straw, if you're wondering. Look at that nice deal. Mini straw bales, $3. That's a pretty nice deal. Here I am at the playground, right, right across this little creek from the, uh, the show. And if I'm gonna do this right, I'm gonna have to do it. That doesn't make sense, what am I saying? I made it up. Alright, now here's what's going to happen. I'm going to slide down. Slide down. 
just like that. Okay guys, well I hate to say this, but I'm already leaving this place now. The next uh, Cover Bridge event I'm going to right now, so I'll see you then. Talk to you later. Alright, hey everyone, we're at the second location now. Um, this one is a little bit smaller than the last one, but and there's not that much stuff here, but I'll see what I can film. Or not film, but see what looks interesting. Let's check it out. Okay guys, um, we got another uh, white tractor here. That's the name of the, that's the brand that built this tractor. It's white. It's another Field Boss 2-85. It's got a cab on it and everything. My dad told me this is a five-cylinder diesel engine. Because it says right there, I think, and it's got the diesel pumps right here. Anyway, let's check out what's up here. Alright, up here we got a uh, Massey Harris 44. And then right here is an Air National 404. That right there is a threshing machine. That was one. Of, that was the very first ever combine harvester. They would uh, throw the stalks of wheat up on there and it would whack them in there. Straw would come out the chute and the grain would come out into that chute right here into a bag. That's how they did back in the old days. Here I am on this swing everybody. Check this out. I need to get a GoPro instead of risking dropping my phone even though I'm over grass. Anyway, that's it for now. Hey guys, take a look at this. Look what just arrived a few minutes ago. This Polaris one XP 1000 UTV and this International 1456 Turbo. That's a very nice looking tractor as you can see, right next to the white. Yes sir. Hey guys, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but they're working, but they're using the threshing machine right now. As you can see, this guy is using his pitchfork to put the, the wheat stalks in the threshing machine, and then those and then those uh, spike things pull it in, and then it goes out the back. I'll show you. Hold on. As you can see, the straw is coming out the back there from that shoe. And right where these two guys are standing, the the, the the grain is going in those white bags, which we use to make stuff like bread and all, like bread uh, and flour and all that stuff. Here's a better view of the, of the straw stalks going in. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the, this video and I hope you enjoyed that threshing machine in action. I hope you could hear me over the loud, the loudness of it, or the sound of it, because that, that machine does get pretty loud. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, make sure to leave a like and don't forget to comment and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Jacob out. Talk to you then. See ya.